Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Valheim. So, I've done a lot of off-camera work, guys. More off-camera work than I meant to do. And this is why. Um, the heating in my house uh, broke. The heating unit, whatever you call it, uh, it broke. Heat wasn't working. It was kind of working, but it was like sporadic and everything. So I had to have people over here to repair it. And they were here for a good few hours. And uh, I can't record while they're here. So instead, of, since I couldn't record while they're here, but I could play, I did a lot of off-camera work. And it was much, much needed off-camera work. So, oh, first of all, the walls. You guys, you guys are killing me with the walls, man. Y you and your damn good ideas. Oh, so... I gotta take down these walls com almost completely, and I've gotta stagger them. You see how like the lines go straight up? Well, I've gotta take this middle row and move it over halfway so these lines do not, you know, are not lined up. And that is gonna be a pain. It's a great idea. Uh, thank you for telling me, but damn you for me giving me more work to do. <laughs> That's alright. It gives me more time to spend in this phenomenal game. All right, so let me show you what I did in here in the hall. I went ahead and I set up a little chest area over here. I don't know how much I'm going to do with the chest area over here. I'm not really sure if I'm going to have a dedicated storage area. I mean, this is a pretty good storage area, um, so I might do it. The problem is there's not a ton of room here. I think it pretty, uh, you know, pretty closed in pretty quick, so I'm not sure uh, how I'm going to handle that. But that's what I got going on for now. And right now it's just food. This is all cooked food and some wood for some reason. Uh, I guess I didn't have any room for it anywhere else. This is all right, food ready to go and my fishing line and my bait. This is all, um, you know, pre-cooked food. And then this is all stuff that I'm crafting with, mostly metal and everything. Uh, so, yeah, that's great. Um, another thing I did was I went, into the, I went into the sunken crypts and I farmed up a bunch of iron. Honestly, I didn't go there to farm a bunch, of, a bunch of iron, but I ended up farming up a bunch of iron. So it is what it is. I went there for chains, okay? So there's two ways you can get chains in this game. You can go to the sunken crypts or you can hunt... Uh, you can hunt um, the freaking poltergeist, the uh, the wraiths, right? I've only seen two wraiths in this game, and they're, they're kind of rare. I actually hunted in the swamp area at night and only saw, like, one wraith. So killing wraiths is not the best way to get chains. You go into the sunken sunken crypts, and you can find chests with, like, four of them at a time. All right, I found all... All right, I need 11 chains for this video. I found all but four. And I was complaining or lamenting or venting <laughs> to my buddies on my um on my multiplayer server and they were like we got some chains for you so they hooked me up with four chains so that's wonderful all right so i move the crafting tables over here they are good to go um i put the stone table here just because i don't really have anything else to do with it right now and i did from let me see my, i got a list of stuff here i moved the chests grinded stuff oh i grinded a bunch of stuff for ice arrows as well uh as you can see in here i've got um you know a good amount of obsidian and, uh, man, those, those, you're right about the freezing glands. I never should have let any of those go. I can go up and get more, but, man, it's going to be time-consuming. All right. And, oh, oh, I, also, I farmed for cores. I went and I hit some burial chambers. I hit a bunch of burial chambers. And um, you can kill the fire guys for cores, but I was, like, doing burial chambers. And I got, like, 30 cores in almost no time. The thing is I'll run out of burial chambers. Those were pre-marked. So I got, I got three in the other thing. So I got over 30. So... Probably wouldn't be a great idea in the long run, but for, you know, for the time being, it works. I'm going to take 50 wood, and we are going to come out here, and we are going to pump these. We're going to pump this wood in here. I'm going to need a lot of coal for today, because today we are going to set up the, the what do you call it, the, the I forget what it's called, the, the blast furnace. All right, and we're going to cook some black metal, and I'm going to make myself a new shield, because I want to be able to block uh, those guys' attacks. They were hitting me for just a little bit more than my shield could block for. Uh, so I want to block for the full damage. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going I'm to make a shield today. And we are going to set up the blast furnace. Let me put this iron in here. I mean, I got a lot of iron, like, in there. Like, more iron than I need. But, well, I mean, I could always use iron for other things. But the point is, I didn't go out of my way for that iron. I just kind of got it working through those, like, gore piles thingies. And I found a bunch in a chest as well. All right. So I'm going to put this bad boy over here. And now what we're going to do is we are going to um, get some food, some proper food. And we're going to go into the plains biome and I'm going to uh, work on expanding my base. I need to expand the base in the plains biome. I'm going to do a little bit at a time, uh, you know, because I don't want to spend like a, two, like a ridiculous amount of time making a ridiculously large base. I could build my, my base modularly, uh, modularly, you know what I'm saying. And uh, that would be a good way to go. Um, I also farmed up, I also farmed up some thistles. Thistles are a mother effer, man. 
Um, the best way you can do thistles, as far as I'm concerned, is you go into the you go into the black forest. Obviously, that's where most of them are. But go in at night because they do glow. I moved some stuff around in here as well. Um, this is all these all these chests are now um, like gear, and I've got it somewhat organized in case I die. I could come grab some gear and maybe do a corpse run like that. These are all my arrows. I do need more frost arrows. We should probably make those now. Although, I don't think I'm going to need a ton of them unless I'm actually, like, actively fighting in the plains biome. Uh, should I bring them or not? Honestly, I really don't know. I mean, right now, I'm not going to be going out and doing any fighting. I'm only going to be defending my base. And if I've got... If I'm on, like, the inside of my base and the enemy cannot get to me, do I really want to waste frost arrows? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we're going to take... Because we're going to take Flinthead. And... Yeah, we'll take the flint head. Let's just take a bunch of flint head arrows, poison arrows. We won't waste our time with the um, we are not going to waste our time. We won't waste the frozen arrows, the the frost arrows, because they're, you know, they're no joke. On a, also, I'm going to need this right here. Okay, and more food. All right, looks like everything's respawned here. I just I, as soon as I spawned and came out of my house, I got attacked by a death mosquito. Uh, and I do see some more of those locks out there, and I need to kill those locks. I really need that lox meat. So let's see if we can uh, snipe this mosquito. There we go. And then let's pull some of these guys over to my base. Come on, bro. Alright. Does he know I'm here? Or seems to be a little confused. Alright. Now he's coming. Alright, so now we jump across here. And then he's just gonna walk away, right? I don't know what he's gonna do. I think he's gonna be confused. Don't worry, these are crappy arrows. Oh, it switched to my fire arrows. Ah! Alright, I'll use the fire arrows, why not? Alright, bro. Time for you to burn! His food should come cooked if he dies while burning. That'd be hilarious. What game was that in? Uh, mm. What game was that in where you, if you killed stuff on fire, the food came cooked? Damn it, I can't remember. Is that? Oh, that's Minecraft I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's definitely Minecraft I'm thinking of. Alright, how many did I get? Okay, buddy. Come on in. Come on in for some of this bad medicine. Come on. Come take your medicine. There you go, you glass cannon. Alright. How many did I get for that? Oh, four. Beautiful. Dude, they always, they always get four, right? I think they get four or five. So I'm sitting here killing this guy, and I just got an attack on my base. A skeleton surprise. It looked like you were going to kill the locks, too. What are you guys going to do? Hey, look at them. There's like 50 of them over there. Do I, have, do I have, like, bombs or something? Man, I wish I, I, wish I had my, uh, my hammer. All right. Yeah, fair enough. You guys can't. You guys are skeletons. What the hell are you gonna do? Where are you, stinking archer? Old skelly surprise. Can't really see him. Yeah, there he goes. I didn't know skeletons could burn. So this is the idea of this uh, base. Seems pretty defensive to me. Probably should put a little bit of a thing out there so. You know, archers can't hit me because if they're like tough archers, like if I get those uh, spear chucking guys, I'm freaking screwed. All right, I think we've got the expansion on our base pretty well mapped out now. Let me finish this part and I'll show you what's going on. We have reached water. Probably go a little deeper on these things than I need to, but that's all right. Better be safe than sorry. Actually, that's even deeper than it is over here. Yeah, whatever. All right, so this is the expansion right here. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but once we fill this in, it will be a pretty decent amount. Now, how am I going to fill that in? I'm going to fill it in the smart way. Um, first of all, we do need a workbench. All right. That's good. Number five, fill it in. Now, when you want to fill stuff in, you want to fill it in on the edge, right? So you see how that's the edge right there? You want to fill it in on the edge. It'll fill in the whole thing. It makes things so much simpler. This is probably the best tip I've ever gotten in the game, honestly. People were watching me do this, like, the way I was doing it, and they're like, man, you're wasting a lot of stone. And then they tried to explain it to me in one of my videos, and I didn't really get it. 
So I was like, you know, sometimes when I don't get what people are saying, I kind of ignore the, the tip. Because I, you know, I don't know, I just feel dumb, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I mean, what they, they kept telling me, and I eventually got it through my thick skull. And, um, yeah, it's freaking dope. It's freaking dope. Alright, we'll take care of that. I just want everything to be around the same level. There we go. Alright, it's looking pretty good. And then we will continue, and we will have an, a nice little expansion here. It's not going to be a, a big expansion. I might, I might fill this in a little bit. Possibly. Possibly. Just, you know, the, the moat doesn't need to be, like, super huge, right? And I see in my future, maybe one or two more exp Nah, at least one more exp Probably, like, at least two more expansions. Probably two or three more expansions on this thing. I'm not going to make it super huge. It's not my main base. It's not going to... It's not going to be my main base. It wouldn't even be this big if I didn't have to, uh, you know, grow the the barley and the flax here. But I'm also going to want to uh, cook cook stuff here because this is where I'm going to be getting all the metal. All the, what is it called, black metal? I'm going to call it dope metal. Dope metal. Sounds like a genre of heavy metal. Like, oh, you, you know like those heavy metal bands that were also like kind of like rap? Half heavy metal, half rap? That's what I call dope metal. Okay, it's like 50 hours later, and I think I got everything set up for the rest of the video. Uh, not quite 50 hours, but it, it feels like 50 hours. Let me go ahead and repair everything. And then we're going to go back out to the Plains Outpost, and I'm going to show you what I got. Got one now. I'm going to be making a level 2... Uh, by the way, I don't have these uh, portals set up quite right yet. Um, I'll get there. I'll get there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need a level 2... Um, Forge and the blast furnace and I think I have everything I need here for it. Uh, let me show you what we got going on out here This is all taken care of Got a little platform out front Got that over there. Everything's looking pretty good Pretty good. All right, cool All right, so we don't have a ton of area to work with here, but we have a good amount All right, so what do I need first? I think the first thing I'm gonna need is the artisan table so let me go ahead and grab some wood. And, oh, I probably didn't even need wood. I probably needed a crafting bench. All right, that's fine. Uh, we'll put a crafting bench right here. Also, I want to come back around, around back and check my flax. Uh, it should be ready to go pretty soon. I don't like planting it back here. I'm kind of surprised that it works back here. I forget it would have said unhealthy because it was too close. But it did work, which is nice. All right, so artisan table. Um, we're gonna put this... Can we put this in here? Yeah, let's put this in here somewhere. I could put it right there, but that torch is in the way. Alright, well, let's get rid of the torch. Kind of like my torch placement there, <laughs> but what are you gonna do? We need room for the artisan work table. Alright, and now that we've done that, we can put this up. We just need to iron the stone and the certling cores. Iron, stone... And the Certling Cores. And there's our wonderful Blast Furnace. Oh, wow, okay. That's pretty... Actually, this is a really good spot for it, isn't it? Um, you know, I think I'd kind of like it better... No, you know what? I like it better right here. I just don't like the way it's in the way of the window, but if you put it back far enough, it's not. All right, there we go. Cool. All right, well, let's get this thing... Let's get this show on the road here. Um, take all of this stuff. Oh, do I have any, uh... Nope, I don't have any coal with me. Alright, well... I guess I couldn't remember everything. So let's go home and grab some coal. Teleporters are a wonderful, wonderful thing. This game is freaking awesome. Um, I don't know how much we're going to get uh, done with fighting today. I wanted to go out and fight. I don't know how much we're going to be able to fight today. Uh, I want to do some fighting. I think next episode is going to be a really deep dive into the, uh, into the biome. Although I do need to make my frost arrows uh, first. I was like, where the hell did I get another four chain from? That's right. I took apart the bellows here because I'm going to build that at the other place. Uh, now I don't remember what the hell I came back here for. <laughs> oh, yeah. Coal. So is there any coal here? There is not. So we're going to come in here for the coal. Oh, the ground is shaking. Well, people were wondering how my walls were going to hold up against trolls. Now, it depends on what kind of trolls I've got. If I've got, like, you know, badass trolls, like two-star trolls, could be a bit of a problem. But we're going to kind of have to, you know, just kind of see how things go here. 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with poison arrows. I still don't have this properly set up yet, either. Alright, yeah, these are just regular trolls. These guys ain't gonna do shit. I'm just gonna kill them. They're just gonna stand there anyway. Okay, so here we go. Now they're gonna hit my walls. So I'm gonna need multiple stone cutter tables because you guys were saying I can't repair my walls without them. And that's a really good point. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get to work on that for sure. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. I did get a bunch of iron. All right, there we go. You're dead. And you're poisoned. Okay, now if he comes over to me, I'm gonna have to back up off this. Oh, oh wow. Get out of here. Get out of here, you stupid troll. Oh, go, keep going. Gets to stepping. I'm not, do I even need troll hide anymore? I've got like four stacks of it. I'm not even going to loot it. The hell with it. <laughs> of course, then you guys will be like, Cage, you need this unbelievably endgame thing that you need it for, and now you don't have it. Uh, and then I'm going to cry myself to sleep. All right, let's take all this coal with us. And uh, let's get back and let's uh, let's cook up some of that metal, man. Metal man. That's, that's, what, that's Iron Man's original name. I'm a metal man! But then he ended up being a, a robot made by Dr. Robotnik. Wait, is it Robotnik? No, it's not Robotnik. That's... I think that's... I'm getting my uh, my old video games mixed up. I think Robotnik is a... Uh, is a, a, a Sega thing. Um, what's his name? Sonic. Sonic Second Fiddle. The Hedgehog. <laughs> second Fiddle to Mario. Oof. If Autumn heard me saying this, she wouldn't be happy. Alright, anyway. Let's go ahead and load this thing up with coal. And let's, uh, you don't have any, oh, that's right, I don't have the, uh, stuff on me, you can't go through the teleport or it. Oh my god, look at this, alright, there we go. Getting kind of full here, but that's okay. I do want to make my shield today. I want to make my shield, and if everything comes out alright, I can upgrade it all the way. And then I can block those attacks, like, straight up, like the entire attack, uh, when I get attacked by these ass clowns. Alright, the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to make a forge. So we're going to need this, this, and let me see the other thing. What was the other thing? Wood. Okay. Checks out. Uh, there we go. Wood. We're not being attacked, are we? It's that thing, right? Yeah. Look at that thing go. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's pick it up. And we can't yet because we're full. That's okay. That's okay. Let's put this down. Once we pick up that ingot, every, everything we can craft will pop up. All right. Uh, there we go. I guess I'll put this right... Yeah, this torch has got to come out too. I really don't have... Oh, easy there, chief. Okay, I really don't have any choice. Alright, and then we're going to make upgrades for this, like the bellows. Hello, bellow. And then there should be one other thing I can make. Um, I just need some more wood and the, the stone wheel. Okay. And still can't make it. Need a lot of wood, dude. A lot of wood, dude. Alright, and then... Got that. Can we fit that in there? Nope. Uh... Probably... Ugh. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. <laughs> it's not gonna look good no matter where I put it, to be honest. Alright, whatever. Let's put it over here. That's fine. Alright. So let's go ahead and pick this up. And there we go. We can now make the black metal shield, the tower shield. And that is it. What am I missing for the porcupine? It's a good question. Oh, oh, the flax. That's right. All right, well, let's take a look at the shield. Uh, I've looked all this up, but let's take a look at it right now. The black metal shield. All right, there you go. That's what you need the chains for. All right, so we're getting a lot more black metal for that, obviously. All right, I hear something going on outside. I went ahead and slept through the night, by the way. Best way to forge items is just go ahead and sleep through the night. So you see that over there? There's a little, like, um stars and everything that could be one of the furlings or whatever the hell they're called what are they called i think they're called furlings i have it written down here yeah furling that, that could be a fur oh boy hold on all right here we go come on death skeeto you freaking glass cannon you come on come on there you go okay now what was i saying i don't remember anyway it could be uh could be a corpse over there I might want to take a look at. There could be some uh, black metal. Oh, oh, I just saw it. It just popped. Ooh, are these okay? Oh, no. Okay. All right, well, let's pick this. And maybe that'll give that more room to grow? Nope. Yep, there we go. 
Okay, so the fully grown flax was getting in the way of this one. That's interesting. That's interesting. All right, we're going to plant some more of that, but not at this very moment. Let me just kind of go ahead and throw that in there for now. What I'd like to do right now is make the shield and also fill that up with coal. I don't have any coal on me. That's fine. Not really a big deal. All right, so why can't I make the shield? I have no freaking clue. Let me take a look. Um, eight, ten. Well, because I don't have any of the, I don't have any of the materials on me. You know, it makes sense. Okay, now can I make the shield? Black metal shield style. Hey, look at me. Rem oh my God, red and black. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's an easy choice. All right, so we're back here at base, and let's go ahead and upgrade this thing. By the way, I made this uh, forge tool rack, which I think looks dope as hell. I wonder what the maximum level of a forge can be. I don't know. F I think I only need five to upgrade the shield, so... All right, let's go ahead and do that. Upgrade. And we need a little bit more fine wood, which I do have. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. And uh, this thing upgraded, I believe, is going to be able to block 100 straight damage. That's not parry. That's block. <laughs> which is going to be pretty freaking sick, I think. Uh, black shield level 3. There we go. Uh, 111 damage because of, my, uh, because of my block skill. Very... Oh, man. I like this thing. I like this thing a lot. The next thing we're going to want to replace is going to be our iron mace. Um, in order to replace the iron mace, that rhymes, Jace... Uh, I couldn't think of a name for Mace, but Chase is a good name, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to replace the Iron Mace. I'm gonna replace it with the Porcupine. In order to do the Porcupine, I'm going to have to get the flax growing. As a matter of fact, we should go do that right now. I'm probably not gonna get any combat today, but I, you know what? I think next video is gonna be an all combat video. All right, so let's go check it out. Let's, let's do it with that flax. I might go out and smack something around, just quickly smack. You know, I haven't hit anything. Well, actually, I have hit stuff today, but. I don't know. I haven't hit anything while using my dope new shield. So, the only other thing I can see that I want to make with black I black iron or whatever the hell it's called is, um, is the, uh, oh god, look at those deskitos. Alright, I can't have it. Alright, what about you? You want some? Oh, I think he knows I killed his buddy. Oh, didn't help him. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what else to make of black metal. I, an axe. That's it. Uh, you don't even use it to make the porcupine. Which I thought was a little strange, but it's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and plant this flax. And next episode's probably be gonna, gonna be us smacking stuff around. And then I think the episode after that will be us uh, using what we... You do what we gotta do to refine this flax or whatever. Um, see, I don't even know what it is. Uh, I know you can make like, a couple things to refine it or something. I'll, I'll look into it. I'll figure it out. Anyway, let's go ahead and make ourselves a little area here. That should be plenty of area for flax. All right, there we go. Be a little bit careful with this one. I don't have a ton of room here to just... Usually with the carrots and, and turnips and stuff, I just plant them, whatever. You know, but here I have very limited room, so... Healthy, healthy. You'd be able to tell if they're not healthy because they turn color. So, all right, let's, uh, let's drop everything off, go smack something around. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we do this, and now we have all of our hit points. And we got our dope new shield. I was thinking about using the bone mass ability. I think I'm going to hold off on it. Just because this isn't like a gung-ho, go-in, guns blazing type of situation. This is kind of, uh, just going to kind of look around. Alright, that's a spear thrower guy. we got to be careful with him. I can block him 100%. And he's one star. Oh, I didn't block him 100%. Okay. Uh, how much did he hit for? Oh, he, it seems like he's hitting for more now. I wonder if he hits depending on what kind of shield you have. Alright. That's fine. I was hoping I could block him 100%. Honestly, it's virtually 100%. <laughs> I mean, really. Okay. Yeah, th those those uh, spear-throwing guys, those are the ones you have to worry about. At least I have to worry about. Unless there's... Something else. I mean, the big, um, the big brutes or whatever they're called, the the berserkers. They're they're pretty tough too, but you know they're kind of slow, and I just kind of run away and hit them with arrows. Is this place still empty? Wait, do they not respawn? Oh, hold on. 
I thought they would have respawned by now. Everything else did. Huh. Uh, I do see some guys in there, but... Um, you know what? I think we're going to cliffhanger this mofo. Hopefully you don't respawn between today and tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think we're going to go in on that um that base tomorrow. I think that'll be a lot of fun. I'm going to go home. I'm going to make a ton of frost arrows, pretty much as many as I can. And then I'm going to have to go grind up the resources for more frost arrows. Uh, that's going to suck. And every time I left behind one of those frozen glands, <laughs> a part of my soul dies. But, you know, what are you going to do? I love this new shield. It's freaking awesome. So it looks like at this point I'm looking for the porcupine and then I'm going to really farm silver to upgrade my armor. All right, hold on. All right, so I could block these clowns. If they're not one star, I could probably block them straight up. Oh, hold on. His stuff went flying. And that death skeeto is going to want a piece. Oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. I might make some of those new uh, stamina potions too. The, the medium stamina potions. I'll like, kind of like to use the ones I already have. All right, guys. I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Mm -hmm.